bien. Hi, we are we are grade five students from Beckham Farm Public School. My name is Zushika, and I'm here with Tiffany, Margaret, Ali, Alex. Okay, we are talking about Project Flip. If you would like to follow along with us, you can you can use the link in the top right corner or go to bitly slash Project Flip. No caps. When we started when we started using Flipgrid, we started the filming outside because it was too loud in our classroom. We did all the same topics and questions. We didn't know how to make a good video. Our problems. We couldn't go outside when it rained. We couldn't hear ourselves talking. The class was too loud. When it rained, we had nowhere to film. Now you will see Flipgrid fails. The launch cycle. First, you look, listen, and learn. Next, you ask a ton of questions. Next, you understand the process or problem. You do navigate ideas. You create a prototype. You highlight and fix. And finally, you launch to an audience. Bad Idea Factory. We first talked with Jen about good ideas. She told us that her class had a bad idea factory, so she told us to make a bad idea factory as well. She explained that a bad idea factory was when we made bad ideas and turned them into good ideas. We later made a bunch of bad ideas for a flipgrid. Then we crumpled them up and had a snowball fight. Good ideas for flipgrid. In videos, do not photo or video bomb. Have a stable surface to put your device on. You shouldn't mumble or whisper in your video. And have fun. And now you will see Margaret. Building. We use cardboard tape, popsicle sticks, and soundproof objects to build. Someone, some people build the tables, chairs, and a shelf. We put the soundproof objects around the computer. We talked about where we will put it in our classroom and made sure we did our best. Some things that we that didn't work well is that we use cardboard, and cardboard is not water or soundproof. Planning for the prototype. We get we got into groups of fives and six. We learned about launch cycle. We sketched what we want the booth to look like. Some people did a test with Lego. The class voted. We voted and evaluated each design. The class voted on which prototype project to use. Two of the projects were tied. The OTC, Orca Tech Co Corporation's project and the house. Our our principal, Mr. Matt, chose the house because he said it was more affordable. He evaluated everyone's project. He told us the stuff that we could change, like having some things we can't be built. We also shared our work with Adam and Joey from Flipgrid. Now you will hear from Alex. Mistakes and modification. First, it, the thingy, our project wasn't realistic. 
we couldn't get some of the materials that was required. We didn't have all the like the budget for some of the materials. Um, we don't have the tools to create the full version of the prototype. We decided on a design that was cheaper, waterproof, and soundproof. We now use our booth and earn Flipgrid badges. We try hard to get all Flipgrid badges, such as a thousand videos and one day worth of video recording. Using our booth, we can earn our rewards easily. We put foam knee pads around in a plastic bucket to make it private and soundproof. Men monitoring others. We made a slide deck as a class, and everyone got a slide to work on. We presented to the entire school, starting from JK to grade eight. We explained about the booth, and we made sure they know how the sound doesn't come into their videos. We went and helped two students from another class to show them how to make a video. And now you will hear from Oli. Speaker's Corner. Speaker's Corner is like when people want to share an opinion and talk to people when they don't have a voice. To like scared or nervous, you can go to Speaker's Corner and talk about it in a video. This is originated in London and it also took place in Toronto for a long time. Speaker's Corner is a way to share ideas without feeling like you're judged because no one is there to watch you when you film your video. It can also be a way to share your talents. Some of our classmates went to the Youth Ed Tech Summit to share projects about Project Flip. Let's check out what they had to say. Hi, my name is Keith. My name is Sandosh. My name is Zach. My name is Celine. And today we are going to talk about our experience at the YES conference, which is Youth Ed Tech Summit, and what we did there. All right, so let's get started. So we started, so, sorry, we started building the clip grid, and then since the winter was coming, we had a problem with filming outside. So when a person named Jen came over who works for YRDSP School Board and Flipgrid, we told her about our problem that we're having with filming outside with flip Flipgrid. And when Jen reviewed one of our videos, she realized that there were more problems than having the weather. We also had lighting and sound quality because we were new to filming. So we made prototypes of what we wanted the Flipgrid booth to look like, and then we evaluated each prototype. We decided not to choose any because um, all the prototypes were made out of cardboard and the rain would ruin the cardboard in the process of bringing it into the class. So we changed it, made a few edits, and now we have our new booth, which is a plastic bin with foam walls inside it. And so our booth is waterproof, solves our problem at, of lighting and sound and weather. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye. Plans for next year. The school will make a booth for everyone to use Speaker's Corner. At the moment, people will make their videos inside their class, but we will have a booth next year. The plan for the booth is that we are going to put it in front of our library. People will be able to film in peace while in booth because most of the people don't want any sounds in their video. On behalf of the students at Beckett Farm, we thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.